welcome to this supplementary video about your Tone 2 Pro's volume knob. In the previous video, I missed out talking about the triple press and long press. So without further ado, let's continue. On my right, I have a Tone 2 Pro that's connected to my PC via a USB cable. If I single press the volume knob, music will start playing. And if I single press again, music will stop playing. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so let's start music playing again. You'll notice that when I press the volume knob, the light blinks yellow for a short while. This tells us that the music format that is playing is now PCM. Now Tone 2 will show you a different color for each music format that it plays. Let us adjust the volume to a comfortable level. Rotate the volume knob to the right. If the volume is too loud, rotate the knob to the left. Rotating the knob all the way to the left will mute your Tone 2 Pro. Notice the single red light. This tells you that you are in volume mode, but that your Tone 2 Pro is muted. Triple pressing the volume knob will lock your Tone 2 Pro's volume encoder. Notice that I am now unable to lower the volume. Triple press to unlock. Now, with the unlocked volume encoder, you can then mute the Tone 2 Pro's volume once more. Let's raise the volume to a comfortable level. Do note that listening to audio at high volume for a long period of time may damage your hearing. So always use the Tone 2 Pro at a comfortable hearing level. Long press the volume knob to turn off your Tone 2 Pro. You'll notice that now that my Tone 2 Pro is switched off, the music is playing through my computer's external speakers. Short press the Tone 2 Pro's volume knob to reboot it. By default, when your Tone 2 Pro reconnects with your PC, music will stop playing. Single pressing the volume knob will resume playing your music. Let us go to the next mode, which is Track Change. Double tap the volume knob to continue. Rotating to the right will push us to the next track. If you don't like this track, rotate the knob to the left to go back to the previous track. If the track has been playing for some time, you may have to rotate twice. Next track. Previous track. Next track. And I don't like this song either, so let's go to the next track. Ah, much better. The next mode is Headphone Game. Double tap to go to the next mode. This mode is characterized by green and red lights. This is Low Game. And rotating to the right goes back to High Game. Rotate to the left. Low gain, right, high gain. If your PC's volume is not set to 100%, you may find that you have to use high gain all the time. As a general rule of thumb, if your headphones are 64 ohms or higher in impedance, high gain is the right selection for you. However, do note that this depends very much on your ears as well as the headphones that you are using. Double tap and we'll go to the next mode. This is input selection mode. 
By default, your Tone 2 Pro will be in Auto Input Selection. The light or the yellow light will be at the topmost corner of the RGB ring light. The Tone 2 Pro has three music input methods. The first is the USB. The second is I2S and the third is speed if. When your Tone 2 Pro is in the auto selection mode, I2S has the highest priority followed by a speed diff and then USB. Rotate the knob to the left to select I2S. There's no music playing because we don't have I2S input. Rotate to the left again for speed diff. And finally, rotate once more to select USB. It is always best, however, to leave your Tone 2 Pro in the auto selection mode. This way, you will not feel as though there's something wrong with your Tone 2 Pro if the music does not play. For instance, if you select I2S, but you are actually using USB input. Now the Tone 2 Pro is back in auto mode. Double press and we can go to the next mode, filter selection. Filter selection is characterized by blue and red lights. I will show you the filters now. There are a total of 7 audio filters. Right now my Tone 2 Pro has a blue light on the bottom and this tells us that we are in linear fast mode. Let us select Hybrid Fast. Hybrid Fast is characterized by a blue light on the bottom and on the top. If you rotate the knob to the left, you can return to the first mode which is Linear Fast. Rotating to the right once, goes to linear slow. Double tap the knob to return to volume control. Volume control is characterized by a turquoise light and your Tone 2 Pro will by default always be in volume control mode. Alright, let us go through the lights once more. Volume, when muted, is a single red dot, track, two red dots, Gain 3 dots, input 4 red dots, and filter 5 red dots. Volume mode is characterized by a turquoise light that goes from 1% to 100%. Gain mode is green and red lights, and there are low and high gain modes. There are 3 input modes, speed if, I2S, and USB, but for most of the time, select auto. 7 filters are available. Linear Fast, Linear Slow, Mini Fast, Mini Slow, Appetizing, Hybrid Fast, and Brick Wall. Finally, your Tone 2 Pro will display a momentary small light. For instance, if you're playing a MQS or FS format, it will display a momentary purple light that will go off after some time. MQS Studio is blue, MQA Format is green, DSD is white, PCM, which is our current mode, is yellow. Let me show you again. Single tap to stop, and single tap to stop. See here, we're in PCM mode. Finally, if your encoder is locked, it will flash white. Alright, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, head over to our forum for technical support or you may download this user manual from our cutters.com website.